Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So before we're going to start with our Bitcoin TA, I just want to point out that we closed yesterday the CMEs at $11,870. So wherever the price is going through the weekend, because you know weekend is always play time, keep in mind that we close the CMEs here at 11800 70 and also the bitcoin dominance is still going down and we have some altcoins which are still looking like they will pump pretty soon especially ethereum eos and also litecoin are looking pretty nice not only in terms of the us dollar pair but also paired with bitcoin so i'm expecting some altcoins still to outperform bitcoin for the short to mid term so it's maybe not a bad idea to diversify also into some altcoins that you like especially some of the top coiners like litecoin ethereum eos because for the short to mid term you can do nice gains and when you're taking out profits into bitcoin you're gonna multiply your bitcoin very easily and the exchange that i recommend you to buy and sell altcoins is still binance if you still need an account over on binance go down below here in the video description you will find the sign up link to binance and with my link you will get 10 percent of the fees and now let's start here with the one hour time frame in the bitcoin price because currently we are still trading here at around eleven thousand nine hundred dollar so far we created a nice support above eleven thousand eight hundred dollar and if we have a look here into the rsi it looks like that we could maybe have a final leg down to retest maybe this eleven thousand five hundred dollar maybe even down here towards eleven thousand four hundred before we're definitely going to retest 12k and then potentially Potentially also break it to the upside because you can see that currently we are trading above all the moving averages the 20 moving average is giving us support currently at 11,850 we have the RSI also here in the upper area not yet overbought so we still have some room left to the upside maybe today we're gonna test this 12k let's see but in case that we're gonna have a possible retest of 11,500 down here to 11,430 then take it as a good opportunity to go long for example on Bybit. And also here you can see the Bollinger Band which is still trading here in the upper area. We have the MACD with a bearish cross that could indicate that first we're going to have a final leg down to retest this $11,500 area. Not necessarily but at least here in the one hour it looks like that we could have another little leg down. Also Stochastic came down now into a neutral condition more into overbought so here we are setting up also a possible nice entry for a long position if you're looking for longs and if you think that we're gonna break out here to the upside I'm still more bullish I still think we're gonna see here break out to the upside but if you're waiting for the perfect setup then maybe wait here for another retest of this 11,500 to 11,600 dollar area and now we can switch over into the four hour time frame because here you can see that we are still trading above the 20 and 50 moving average which is a very bullish sign the problem here in my opinion is just that the rsi is looking a bit toppy here so that's why we could see maybe during the weekend or next week another leg down as it also looks like in the one hour that we maybe cool off one last time before we're gonna break out here to the upside but of course you can already start now to dca your long position if you think that we're gonna break out here to the upside only if we would lose again this eleven thousand four hundred dollar support here and close four hour candles again below then i think we could be in for a major correction but currently it looks like that bitcoin wants to push through especially when you're seeing some altcoins already performing pretty nice especially ethereum which is coming very close to 450 dollars i'm still convinced that we're most likely going to see price levels between five to six hundred dollars pretty soon on ethereum before maybe we're going to have a little correction possibly down again towards the 300 dollar area if bitcoin is also going to test 10k again but so far it looks like that we're still in our uptrend and we should look for longs and not 
shorts. My indicator currently is also looking like that we could have a sell signal pretty soon. It's not yet confirmed, so this can go on for a very long time. But as soon as there is a potential sell signal, I would take it as an opportunity to start to scale in long positions because if we're seeing another little correction towards the support down here, then I think this is the perfect opportunity to go long. And also if we have a look into the Bollinger Band in the four hour, currently we are still trading here in the upper area. So the top right now is at 11,970. If we will see a breakout through $12,000, then we will overshoot here the Bollinger Band. And then we also have to see if we are able to start to build up support above 12K. We have also the MACD shifted to the upside, stochastic as well. So also here you can see that everything is looking a bit toppy here in the four hour time frame. That's why I'm still expecting a potential last leg here, retest support and then start the breakout to the upside. But this is really just in the lower time frames. It is possible that with this move, we're going to definitely break here this 12K because it will be the third attempt here to test and break 12 Okay, and now let's go over into the daily time frame. We can also zoom out here a little bit because here you can see clearly the trend which is shifted to the upside. We have, of course, the RSI still in quite toppy area. Also here in my indicator, you can see that we had a sell signal over here. We cooled off a bit, but I still think that we will most likely have here a breakout to the upside pretty soon. Also the 20 daily moving average so far is holding as a support and so far we never had a close below the 20. We didn't even wick below even with this little sell-off that we have seen here. And here also you can see we zoom out here my potential target if we're gonna break here 12k. I don't think that we will stop here at around 14k. Maybe we're gonna have an initial rejection here or some consolidation before we're gearing up here for the next move towards the next fib line of around 16,000 dollar because this is my final target here in case that we are able to break here this 12k before we maybe gonna see a major correction and the $16,000 target it's not only because this is the Fibonacci extension here the 1.618 fib line but also if you remember we created here an inverse head and shoulders pattern we had here the breakout from this bullish pattern and in theory the target of this move should be here up at around 16 to 17 thousand dollars so i'm still watching out for this price target before we are going to see a potential major correction to test 10k so till then i think the momentum is clearly shifted to the upside and we should look for good long opportunities also the bollinger band is still looking nice here we are trading in the upper area so the top currently is at 12,140. i think that most likely very soon we're gonna break out here to the upside and even if we have a correction here watch out here for this 10,800 dollar the bottom of the bollinger band i don't think that we will go lower than that if we're seeing a major sell off at least for the short term we also have the stochastic oversold now shifted to the upside the problem is is here only the MACD which had a bearish cross and this could indicate that we're gonna see a major sell-off but as I told you I don't think that we will see this coming pretty soon potentially once we're gonna test 14 maybe even 16 thousand dollar my final bullish target for this move before we're gonna see a bigger correction and with that said guys i'm going to wrap it up for now this was just a short update video also remember that if you want to trade bitcoin and other assets you find all the exchanges that i recommend you down below here in the video description especially by bitfemex and bityard in all of these three exchanges you don't need kyc nothing just open up an account with your email and you're done and with my links you can also get some sign up bonus so definitely go and check it out also thank you again very much for your support guys for always clicking like here moon up the likes also in this video subscribe to the channel and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye